How's everybody? Well, we've had good work, you know, this week. Obviously, it's important to try to improve. Um, we're not so much worried about what anybody else says or thinks or um, puts out there, but we need to focus on what we need to do to play to our standard, uh, every player individually, what they need to do to prepare for the game, to play to a standard. and. Um, now we got to play and compete for 60 minutes a game and go play a complete game on the road in the SEC, uh, which we have a lot of respect for. You know, South Carolina's team, Will Champ, Must Champ, and his program, uh, the way they play, the discipline that they play with. Uh, they're really a, a good team, and I think it's really important that when you play a team that relies on execution, trying to do things correctly, and playing with discipline, that you have to, you know, match. You know, their intensity as well as their mental disposition, you know, to compete and play in the game for 60 minutes. So, um, you know, our program is teaming up this week with Curing Kids Cancer, which we've done for several years now. It's an organization who raises a lot of money to try to encourage cutting edge research for, you know, cancers that affect children. And I would encourage everybody out there to sort of support this organization any way that they can. Just what did you see from Will Rogers on Saturday, and is the plan to still start out with Skyler on punts, or maybe you can change that up a little bit? Uh, we'll, we'll make that decision sometime later. You know, Will kicked off well in the game, kicked one out of bounds. Uh, probably tried to overkick it a little bit, but had a lot of touchbacks. Uh, we got to continue to really encourage our kickoff team to not let up in kickoff coverage, uh, thinking that everything is going to be a a touchback and then not cover the kicks, they have a chance to return. This team we're playing this week's a really good kickoff return team. They've got a good kickoff returner. They're leading the conference in kickoff returns, so we got to focus on what we have to do to cover cover and, you know, kick the ball in the right place. And obviously, you know, we don't we don't mind at all when we, we kick touchbacks, but we can't, you know, rely on that all the time. You know, he made two field goals that were fairly long field goals that he hit well in the game. So, you know, he did well. Um, you know, both guys need to continue to be able to punt in the game like they punt in practice. If we could get that, we would be good with either one of them. So we'll continue to evaluate that. Just wonder if you had any update on the status of Antonio Alfano. Um, not really. You know, he's kind of um, disappeared a little bit. Um, you know, I. I you know, I talked to our team today about the fact that, you know, people make mistakes. Uh, we all make mistakes. I make mistakes. Probably everybody in this room makes mistakes. Um, we make mistakes as parents. We make mistakes as coaches. We make mistakes in just about everything that we do. But I think you compound the problem when you don't confront the mistakes that you make and you create greater consequences for yourself because of the choices and decisions that you make after you make a mistake. Uh, and, you know, so hopefully this will be a learning experience for um, all, the, all the guys on our team. How would you evaluate the play of your running back so far? Uh, we really need to make improvement in, in the running game period, and I think that's everyone. Uh, I think our runners have to do a better job of running the tracks that we need to run to. I think when you run a play, people don't understand that by the runner running a track, he actually makes the defense react a certain way when the runner's on that track. So you actually get the defenders to come to the blocks. And the offensive line is taking angles to block people, assuming that that's going to happen. And we haven't been consistent in that to this point, and I think at times it's affected our ability to be consistent in the running game. Uh, so we, 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 we need to get all that cleaned up and do that better. Last one over here with Tony, unless you guys got a follow-up. How has this team gelled from a chemistry standpoint, and do you feel like you're back up to the Bama factor that you talked about in the preseason? Well, I, I don't think that's something that you can evaluate until the season's over because I think you evaluate it on how you sustain it over time. I'm not disappointed in where this team is from you know a character and attitude standpoint. I don't think we played a complete game yet, uh, which is some indication that 
we're not where we need to be. Um, so, and I think it's going to be important that we learn how to focus for 60 minutes and play a complete game. I'm not disappointed in the chemistry of our team. I'm not disappointed in the leadership of our team. Um, you know, we have a really good bunch of guys on this team who are trying to do the right things, and I think that's a good start. Um, but I think you don't evaluate that until the full body of work is in because a big part of that is how can you sustain it throughout the course of the season. All right, Coach, thank you. Thank you.